in this demo uh, we are going to see how to create a package.xml automatically first I will give you a demo you need to navigate to this folder location let's go there and once I am here I simply have to run a command and because in my build.xml I have already specified uh, default pack uh, target name the works and all the temporary files will be created in this tmp folder you can see the progress at the background that few files are getting created but the target is to create a package.xml finally i'm getting the folder names and all the files in inside those folders and after that i am doing some file manipulation using ant itself and then package.xml is getting created just get, you can see just to create one package.xml i needed to create so many temporary files the final package.xml will appear if you can see that a uh, dashboard tag is rendered with all its folder and files inside those folder in same way the document tab its folder and files inside those folder next we have email template everything is inside this tag I may not look better because the f there is a formatting issue but still this packet.xml is a valid xml file so now this is a placeholder or you can see the package all the report name their folder names those are automatically getting generated this is how the final format of the package.xml will look like and this is all happening automatically uh, with the very minimal setup so let's see what we need to do so, one template package.xml file so you can have a different uh, template as per your requirement so this is my template file and only four things or four places I need to replace like uh, I need a dashboard, document, email template and the reports because only these are the tags in which a uh, wildcard character will not work so we need to have all the folder names and the files inside those folder so these are only four uh, placeholders I have now this is my actual X build xml file complete source code on my github and if you see the prerequisite the first is force.com migration tool and second is nt cont lib download link provided here you can download it from there and once downloaded we need to refer it here uh, all the properties are in the different file dot property file here you need to provide your salesforce username and your salesforce password and you need to specify that it's a sandbox or production and where the XM package.xml file needs to be created so if you can see this is a tmp folder this so which folder it's up to you how to decide you need to configure here and we need to provide the org name and after that we need to provide our template reference template Con uh, config folder it would be there so this is the config folder and this is my reference template which would be getting replaced and after this uh, this is a lib folder where i have added the extra required jar file the jar file where i have referred the base directory will say that in which folder currently the end is end script is running so let's see uh, how I have done all these things I have created an ant macro first so uh, you will uh, this micro will receive the username and the password and the server URL and all the needed information and these are the few temporary files which we need to delete every time which we need to create every time and I will initialize all this file with the blank value uh, 
uh, this is a delete command from and the touch command will create a file if it does not exist and once the file is created I am initializing it with the blank default value uh, once this is done uh, there are a few uh, important step here on it. Uh, it might be possible that your password contains a dollar sign so just to make sure that ant is not skipping the dollar sign we need to precede it by the double dollar sign here and to make a property unique I have asked to provide the org name also this micro internally calls another micro uh, this micro will get the name of all folders uh, on the basis of that uh, it's a report folder or email template folder or the dashboard folder and once we get a folder name uh, so the folder name will be received in a temporary file and then there are some file operations are handling to remove unnecessary characters and I am using a for loop and from the for loop we are iterating through each folder so you can see that the folder uh, is pre uh, the prefix for the folder is a member and then uh, int tag for the member so it is done here see a folder name the next step is to get all the files inside that folder then I have written a third macro so the job of this third macro is get all the files inside that folder and create a temporary file again reason why we have seen that in a uh, TMP directory there are so many temporary files every file every folder and every file inside that folder file is getting created and here you can see all the files I am doing the file operations just to make sure that only get a line number 2 which is a file name and then line number 10 identifier for me is a file name colon so this is how I am deciding that what is the folder name and what is the file name and I am skipping all the other lines and after that uh, so this is a line I am saying that get only those line which contains file name colon line. once I get those line so once I get this line I am preceding it the preceding it the member and the ending starting member tag and the ending member tag and after that I am doing some more manipulation so this is a starting tag and end tag uh, after that I am doing some more file operations or rather I will see the string operations to remove the file name and to remove the unnecessary extensions and the white spaces I am getting the important informations for all the temporary files once I get all the infor uh, important informations I will iterate through the final file and I will add this to the temporary files from one file I am getting one file from the salesforce I am ex extracting that file and then I am creating a temporary file again which will have a clean name and this is this is like final output which we can get So once I get all the temporary files four temporary final files one file will be for the report one for the dashboard one for email template and one for the document actually four file uh, with extension dashboard document email template and report to open uh, this final file uh, this is the actual structure so now basically only step remaining for me is to read this file and replace in place of that placeholder uh, in the above step I am reading that and now these are the placeholders so I am replacing all these placeholders guys you enjoy this video and hope you learn something it took a lot of time a lot of time for me to put it all together and get it working and that's why I have created this video so that uh, it will save your time hopefully this would be my last video of 2014 and happy new year everyone for the 2015